All right, welcome to the first video of my board, I guess, series. This is just kind of an introduction. I'm gonna, I don't know, I guess, tell you what books I'm using and kind of how, how I'm going to go about studying for the boards. So first of all, I am gonna take the Comlex, which is the osteopathic boards. Um, as an osteopathic medical student, I have the option of taking the USMLE as well. I've decided not to do that. I will be prepared enough to take it, but uh, number one, it costs even more money to take, uh, and I don't want to take two boards. So this video is for anyone taking the Comlex as well as the USMLE because I will be pretty much studying for the USMLE with additional studying for the Comlex. So I don't know if I have to explain this. If you're watching this, you probably know the difference. USMLE is for allopathic medical students. The Comlex is for the osteopathic medical students. Osteopathic medical students can take the USMLE. They have to take the Comlex, um, and you have the option of taking the USMLE if you want to. And the allopathic students have to take the USMLE, but they cannot take the Comlex. So being an osteopathic student, I have the option of taking the USMLE. And again, I've just decided not to even though I think I'd be prepared enough to take it. Number one, I don't want to take another test. And number two, it, I'm sure it costs $500, just like the Comlex. So I'm starting my board, kind of hardcore board studying now. The test is not till June, but I like to, I mean, we, I have school until the end of May, so I need to kind of spread out my studying. And so this is just kind of a video explaining what books I'm going to use and kind of how I've organized my study plan. So, oh, sorry, long day at school, but my school has, I guess, somehow included in tuition a board study course, I guess, course prep. And I believe this year, I haven't heard the final word, I believe we're going with Kaplan course. And this is going to be an online thing. I think we get like 50 or so online lectures, plus you can sign up for some kind of, it's free, or with the program, some type of live online lecture and you also get the Kaplan word bank so I'll probably use some of those lectures online but I probably won't do the live online interactive type lectures I'm kind of a self-studier so I'll utilize those online lectures you can ac access any time of the day as well as the the question bank so and then also on top of that I've already purchased the doctors in training USMLE um, plus the OMM parts of the doctors in training program. So that'll begin in January. I'll start getting emails twice a week and then I'll have access to, I think my 30 days of the videos that they have. And I'll start that at the end of May going into June, right up to when I take my exam. So that's kind of how I've organized it. The main book I am using is this one. Um, it's kind of the Bible, I guess, of studying for your step one or level one. So that's the main book I am using. I am also using supplemental books. You're going to think I'm crazy after I show you all the books I've gotten, but I love books, which is probably a problem. But I do plan on working my way through all of them and kind of breaking it up by topic and utilizing those different chapters for those weeks. So I'll get started on those. So like I said, I'm using the first aid. I'm also using kind of as my core books, the BRS Fizz. Oh, it's horrible glare. And also the BRS Pathology. Um, I put about 40 hours of research into board studying this summer just out of curiosity. I wanted to know kind of the best way to go about it, what I'd, what would work for me, what other people were saying about good books and everything. And I looked into a, a lot of books. And with the path book, I know Golgen is another path book you can use. Same with the board review series, which I have here. And to me, it came down to font and kind of, I guess, just the size of the book. I know it's crazy, but when I can't make a decision and logically they both make sense, I go with my gut. So that's how I ended up with that book. But you can use anything you want. These are just the things I chose. I'm also using the first aid cases. I love this. I've been using this already to study for my simulations and for my um, patient interactions, just kind of as an overview overview for the course, which has helped me on the test, my tests in my classes as well. So that's that. It follows the sections of the first aid book. And kind of another partner book with that one is, oh, you can see that, Question and Answer for the USMLE Step 1 First Aid. So oh, those are those. And then I got this one. I do not own the Robbins Pathology Text. 
it's huge it's in our library but this is actually just a great book it just has a bunch of questions and answers obviously in the back of each chapter so after I study stuff this is just another book for questions after I study a certain topic I guess um, that's just another book that I go to for questions to make sure I really have understood what I was supposed to have learned this uh, is another great book I used it kind of along with my pharmacology course I didn't use it as much as I would have liked to so some of the chapters I haven't even read yet others really helped me why well, maybe to understand a certain class of drugs or something I read this so I will use I'll, I've split this up into the chapters and then study those pharmacology chapters along with the different systems and sections with the first aid book micro um, is I think pretty huge on the test especially USMLE same with Comlex so I've got this one some people love it some people hate it I really like it it's goofy cool illustrations Makes you remember things. So I'm pretty much spending the month of January and February studying for micro and some immunology. So I have that book for that. Neuroanatomy was not, well, actually I think it was my, one of my worst classes in med school. I did fine in it, but ugh, I don't know why I struggled. So I bought this book. Small, not very many pages. So I'll probably finish this in a week just to go over. I'll probably use it along with my neurology class that I have coming up in the spring. And then if you're taking the USMLE, you won't need to buy this, but or you don't need to buy any of these books, but these are just what I'm using. I have this one, the OMT Review, oh, glare, um, by, it's on my other hand, finger, oh, right there, Robert Savar, Savaris, no idea how to say, I probably really butchered that name, but that's the book I'm using for my OMT Review. The school I go to has a really good OMM, OMT program so they said most of the students at our school don't need much of a review but I have that just to make sure that I do know what I need to know for the boards and have kind of a one book to look at for review for that so those are all my books I have printed up I actually I haven't printed off yet it's on a word document on my other computer kind of week by week plan until May 20th for what topics I'm going to study, what out of these books and chapters I'm going to read. So I've got that all organized. So that's kind of what my series on the board, my board series on the YouTube videos will be. I'll upload once a week, say, hey, this is what I'm doing this week. So if you want to follow it, great. You know, it just kind of gives you some organization. I've heard from a few people, oh, there's so much, I don't know what I need to study. So I've kind of taken everything you need to study, how much time we have left, and then just kind of divvied it up into weeks. So hopefully these are help helpful. Um, I can answer organizational questions, but I don't <laughs> think I can answer any questions concerning, I don't know, things in the books or things because I'll be studying just like you. I've never taken the exam. I can't say this is an awesome way to study. I have no idea. This is what I hope works for me and I've spent the time to organize it up. So I thought I would share. So, yeah, I think that's it. That's all my intro. I'm going to make one right now for what to study this week if you're following, following along. So I hope everyone is doing well and surviving um, second year of med school and is not too worried about boards. We still have, I think, 30 weeks or so left. So hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if you want to hear anything else or have any questions for me.